Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Today, let's travel back 500 years to the beginning of the 16th century. We will explore one of the most important events in the history of the Christian Church, the trial of Martin Luther, the German monk who helped launch the Protestant Reformation. The world into which Luther was born was a dangerous and volatile place. Luther was born in 1483 in Germany. For 1,000 years, the Catholic Church had dominated the fabric of European society. The papacy had become utterly corrupt, and churchmen were much more concerned with money and power than shepherding the souls of their congregations. False theology and clerical licentiousness had crept into the church. In the 15th and early 16th centuries, very few people could read the Bible for themselves, and as such, very few people knew what it taught. Works-based pietism had undercut the true gospel of grace, and many European peasants lived in constant eternal fear for their souls, which, according to the church, were always in danger of the fires of hell, no matter how righteous they tried to be. Luther was one such tormented soul. He entered the Augustinian monastery of Erfurt as a young man, but found no peace. He rightly understood that on his own merits, he could not earn salvation. This truth tormented him to the point where he would confess and reconfess his sins for four to five hours a day, much to the annoyance of his parish priests. Luther at last discovered the gospel of grace in the words of the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 1. For the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. When Luther read those words, he finally understood the gospel. He realized that salvation is not possible by man's works or prayers or confessions, but only as a gift from a loving God. Luther spoke of his conversion years later, saying that when he read those words from Romans, it was as if the doors of paradise swung open and I walked right in. Luther began speaking and teaching these truths both as a pastor at the church at Wittenberg and as a professor of theology at Wittenberg University. The truth of the gospel spread like wildfire, and the rumors of this troublesome monk eventually reached the papal powers in Rome. Luther was excommunicated and called to stand trial at the German city of Worms before Emperor Charles V, the Roman Catholic sovereign ruler of the Holy Roman Empire and the most powerful man in Western Europe at this time. At the trial, Luther was given the chance to recant his writings on justification by faith and the authority of scripture. If he would, he would be restored to the church. If not, he would be eternally condemned and likely sentenced to death. After a last-minute plea for an extra day of earnest prayer, Luther stood before the imperial diet and sealed his fate with these immortal words, I cannot and will not recant anything, for to go against conscience is neither right nor safe. Here I stand, I can do no other. God help me. Amen. Luther's faithfulness to the word of God earned him a death sentence from the Roman church. But thanks to a timely assist from his Lord Protector Frederick the Wise, Luther escaped the trial unharmed and would go on to help countless souls to understand the scriptures all the way until his death in 1546. Through his faithfulness, hundreds of thousands of Christians would come to an understanding of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.